Hello everybody and welcome to the series finale with our Ajax FM20 beta save. We will be taking on Willem in the Dutch Cup final, looking to win this for the second year in a row. And actually this is no longer the beta, the game has gone live just a couple hours ago. So our final game will actually be on the full release. Uh, and from what I've read, this match engine is 20 versions later than what we have been playing on. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out for us. Taking a look at our schedule view, uh, you can see that after our exit in the Champions League against Bayern, we have won all our games except the game against Willem, who of course we are taking on today. So we will be looking to get revenge on them. Uh, before we do jump into this game though, let's take a look at our finances. Uh, this was requested by one of the subscribers in the last video. Shout out to Paul for leaving the comment on that. So when we first started this, we had about 111 million in the bank. And that first season, we increased it quite a bit up to 160. And then kind of in the back end of the season, it kind of dropped down. Uh, our highest peak was at 213 million. And it's kind of steadily dropped just a little bit, but still very, very stable. And currently we are just under 159 million in our overall balance. Over here at our wage budget and transfer budget, we have about 40 million we could spend on players. And our payroll, uh, we could spend 65 million. We're currently spending 58.1 million. So we still have some money to spend on players if we wanted to. And of course, it is official that we have won the league title once again, third season in a row that we've done this. Here is the team we are going to be playing with today. Antony is returning from an injury, but he slots in on that right and side forward spot. So let's just go ahead and we'll jump into it here. All right, and kickoff is underway here. Come on, boys, put in one more good performance. Bring the cup back home. And we can ride off into the sunset together. We do have the ball early on. Anthony plays it out to Ricardo. Oh, that was close to a penalty. It eventually does not go in. It gets called for VAR. I thought Promise and Holland both could have finished that. But it gets blown for VAR check. Give us that penalty, boy. No penalty. Mm. Definitely would have been a penalty if Ricardo went down, but he did the right thing, and he carried on, and he whipped in a good ball, but it was not able to get finished. That's okay. We'll let him have the first 10 minutes, but we're going to come alive here, and we're going to look to score, and score a lot. Building up from the back. Party plays it out to Tagliafico. Whipping the cross. Oh, he cuts inside and plays it over to Erickson, who whips it in. It gets over to Anthony. He plays it inside to Donny van de Beek, who fires it home. He gets his 10th goal of the season and puts us a goal up in the 12th minute. Beautifully worked. What a great ball this was. And what a great finish by Donny. That's what we want to see. And we want to keep going. Off the corner now. Erickson whips it in. He finds Holland. Who crosses it over to Alvarez. Who heads it home. 2-0 Ajax. Just minutes after we got that opener. Holland loops the ball back over. And Alvarez is there for the easy tap in. And we are cruising now. Wonderful game this has been so far for Ajax. Exactly what I was hoping for. 
We have a free kick now. Looking for our third. Anthony has it on that right-hand side. He plays it over to Ricardo. He cuts inside and he keeps going and he fires it in for his second goal of the year. 3-0 Ajax, 29 minutes gone. What a beautiful goal this was from Ricardo Pereira. Our right back. If you're not going to close me down, he says, I'm just going to keep going. Absolutely wonderful from Ricardo. A yellow card for Nico. Ajax on the ball once again. Looking for number four now. Tagliafico not able to get his cross off. It loses out there. Willem looking for something. But we do well to stop that. And now it's our turn to go up. On the other end, Holland has a shot from a very tight angle. And he forces the keeper to make a save though. And it looks like halftime is here. 3 nil Ajax. Alright, second half underway. One sub at half. We were it on Pere for Tagliafico. And 60 minutes gone. We're going to make our second sub. We're going to bring on Graven Birch for Christian Eriksen. And we'll hold on to the final substitution just a little bit longer. Almost fell to our player in the box there. But Willem get out of way just in time. Definitely doesn't have as much action as the first half. We definitely look like we're in cruise cruise mode now. I say that, we almost get the fourth. Holland not able to get it on target though. Final substitution. We will bring on Nerez for Anthony. Promise with a free kick, whips it in. And Daily Blind had an opportunity, but his header goes just over. And we're into just about the final 15 minutes now. I would love to get a fourth goal. Want to concede here either. We want that clean sheep. Another free kick for Ajax and Holland not able to get a goal today it looks like. It's a real shame for him. Oh, what a run that was by Dennis Janssen who is a Ajax loanee. And there it is boys. 3-0 victory for Ajax. Dutch Cup winners for the second year in a row. Wonderful from us there. Okay guys, I just played the final game of the season against Venlo and got a 5-0 victory over them. So here are the final league standings. We finished top of the league with 92 points. A goal difference of plus 94. Second place goes to Feyenoord who finished down on 67 points, and PSV comes in third on 63 points. And here are the end of the season awards. Starting off with the fans, player of the season, it goes to Christian Eriksen on 36% of the votes. Second goes to Erling Haaland on 34%, and third is Quincy Promise on 21%. Goal of the season goes to David Neres. Goal against Volendam. Let's take a look at that goal now. Beautiful goal by Neres there. Gets the ball. Cuts inside. Beats a couple of players and fires at home from distance. 
wonderful goal that was by Neres. Signing of the season goes to Christian Eriksen. Free transfer from Tottenham. Young player of the season goes to Erlen Holland. And we'll take a look at the stats here. Top goal scorer. 38 goals to Erlen Holland. Absolutely incredible season from our young Norwegian striker. He also had the highest average rating of 8.12. Most assists goes to our midfield maestro Christian Eriksen. 20 assists. Incredible from Christian there. He was pulling the strings from deep this season. Wonderful contribution from him. Best passing percentage goes to Andre Onanda, 93%. Uh, good on him. Most player of the matches, Erlen Howland, 11 player of the matches on the season. And we'll just take a look at the final stats for him. And 31 appearances, 29 of which were starts. He had 38 goals, 7 assists, 11 player of the matches, average rating of 8.12. That's just insane numbers in the league. 22 appearances, 30 goals, 5 assists, 8 player of the matches, average rating of 8.12. Those are just incredible stat lines from him. I'm so glad I purchased him because he was a thrill to watch this season. Absolutely no question about that. Uh, we'll switch over to my profile view here. We'll look at our career milestones. So starting off first season, we won the Johan Cruyff Schaal. Then we won the Dutch Cup and the Eredivisie in that season. We were undefeated in that season as well. So I'm extremely proud of that because as I said previously, first time I've ever done that in any Football Manager games. Then this season... Uh, we won the Dutch Cup again and the league. Didn't get the domestic treble this time as we lost to PSV and the Jan Cruyff Schau. But unquestionably a wonderful season and wonderful series this has been. Career stats, we played 102 games, got 92 wins, drew 5, and only lost 6 times. In those 102 games, we got 286 goals for and only conceded 46 times. So that is a goal difference of plus 240 and a win percentage of 89. Absolutely incredible journey we have been on for the past two years with Ajax. But as mentioned, that is where this will be ending. We will be riding off into the sunset and there's only one thing left to do. And we are going to be retiring. I've actually never done this, so I'm interested to see what happens here. There it is. That is the end of it all for our Ajax save. If you enjoyed this series, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. As mentioned, we're going to be doing a non-league save with Weymouth starting off in the National League South with them in England. We're looking to rise to the very top. We want to get to the Premier League. We want to be getting European trophies. So I hope you join us on that journey as well. And I'm looking to do a journeyman save at some point as well, where we're going to start off unemployed, looking for any job we can get. We're not going to have any coaching experience. We're just going to be a Sunday League player. We're not going to be some ex-professional player. So we're going to be finding any job we can get. And then we're going to be crawling our way to the top. Looking to get to an elite club eventually. So I do hope you guys join us for those series as well. Until next time, it's been your Boyd 147.